Hey everyone and welcome to Let's Learn Premiere Pro. So today I'm going to talk about how to use footage from the LG 360 cam in Premiere Pro. Specifically how to import it, convert it, and edit with it, and then upload it to YouTube and be able to view it in 360. So the first thing you have to do is actually insert your memory card from the camera and you can see here I have some example stills of what I shot on a recent hiking trip. Now obviously when it comes in from the camera it is the two spheres side by side and you need to use the LG 360 software to stitch it into an equirectangular format which looks like this where the two spheres have been stitched together into a complete panorama. So the first thing we're going to do is copy our footage to the desktop then do the convert with the LG 360 cam viewer. Once the footage is finished stitching it usually transitions to the sphere looking playback and you can actually rotate it in the viewer to see what you actually converted. It's pretty cool because you get a nice little world view of the footage that you shot. Now when it converts it, it appends a suffix to the file named LG360 and that's the how you know which file is the converted versus your original. So I'm just going to open up a new project in Premiere here called 360 Test LG and keep all the settings just basic because we can set the sequence setting once we drop a clip in. I'm going to import the clip I just converted and then I'm going to create a new sequence from that clip. You, you, sometimes you can just drag it onto your blank area or you can right click and click new sequence from clip. And so, so you can see here it creates a sequence that is the exact frame rate and dimensions I need and I can scroll through it and look at the clip. I'm just going to go through and convert another clip here and speed it up through the magic of editing. Once it's done, I'm going to drop it in. Now I have two clips here. So my two clips here. And now that I have a fade between them, in some cases you might want to change what the viewer sees when they load up the YouTube video. And again, it's very easy to do by using the offset effect. This allows you to shift the field of view to whatever point of interest you need. So in this case, I want to maybe look at the lake instead of myself. When the viewer loads this video, they're going to see the lake first. And in this case, maybe I want to see myself, but maybe I want to see the view that I'm looking at. Again, you can shift it with offset to focus on the view. This is a really easy way of shifting the point of interest without using a lot of other complicated methods. Now we're ready to export. Here, I'm just going to export. I usually just choose mass source, check the settings. You can do two pass because it does have a lot of motion in it, a lot more than a regular. I'm just going to stick with one pass because it's faster for now. And we're going to export. And of course, while it's exporting, we can open up our spatial media metadata injector. And you can also find a link to download this tool in the description, which gives the required additional information to your exported video file that allows YouTube to know it's a 360 video. Once the export is done through the magic of editing, we will open the exported clip through LG 360 test and click spherical, save as. It appends the injected suffix to the file. Now we're ready to upload to YouTube, so I'm going to load up that upload. Once it's done uploading and processes, you'll see that after it parses the 360 data, we now have the play controls and we can view the video using the key controls or the mouse. So I would say the pluses of this camera are definitely its ease of use and the 5.1 audio out of the box, and the sensor is a better quality sensor than the Ricoh Theta. It also has slightly larger image quality at 2K instead of 1080p, so you just get that little extra bit of sharpness on your 360 video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the LG 360. If you have any questions about 360 video or anything else about Premiere Pro, let me know and I'll be sure to make a video for you. Thanks!